in these bags is something worth $1,000. Let's see if Maddie can figure out which item that is. Um, welcome to Brent by Brent. This is just a haul today where I found something worth $1,000. Starting off with a jean skirt, a diesel jean skirt. This is pretty crazy. Is this like originally how it is or upcycled diesel? This looks pretty upcycled to me. I think it's an upcycle, but very professional. Yeah, this is really cool. Like, look at the back. Oh, this yeah, is awesome. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, this is going to be a good one. I don't think it's $1,000, but I do think it's going to be pretty cool. <coughs> I feel like if we haven't been doing these hauls so much. This is... 70s, I think. This is California for JC Penny. Um, just kind of this interesting cut blank t-shirt, single stitch, but it looks really good. Has like this kind of sport look to it. So we have a nice polo jeans Ralph Lauren jacket. A little damaged, but kind of look yeah tour jacket is, style. yeah really nice and a nice big size too and it's very like also I have the little like hole damage in the back it feels very raw very nice I don't think this is a thousand dollars either little Vince sweater blue nice condition um, Definitely one of the finer materials. So I love like Vince cashmere or whatever. This one is 100% cashmere, so it's really good. It's gonna do well for us. Let's see. So we have a vintage Los Angeles Lakers 2000 NBA Champions t-shirt. Got that Kobe 8 on it. It's also in a nice big size. Really good. Not a thousand, but probably like 50. about that I don't think that one's just that are you gonna like tell me right away if I'm wrong if I'm like I don't think this is a thousand will you be like you're wrong we got at Lear Delphine it's kind of like just a, a long um, kind of like button down shirt right or I guess it's like a cardigan Interesting piece. This is like just a really high-end designer. Maybe like sell for like a hundred or something. I was seeing like some comps for pretty high on that brand though. So we have a Wallace and Barnes Thermal, uh, Thermal Henley. Wallace and Barnes is a like subsidiary of J. Crew. This is good. It's a good style pickup also. It's a smaller size, but that's okay. I think even a woman could buy this. Yeah, I like Wallace and Barnes. This has pretty much always done really well for me. Yeah. All right. This one is very interesting. So, this is a military jacket. Like, long style. You can see the talon right here. And it's lined with fur. This is a really old talon zipper too. Yeah. Really nice jacket. <laughs> Maddie doesn't think this is a thousand. I don't think it's, I think this is really good, but I don't think unless this is like real fur. It is. Like real animal fur? I Am I wrong? Is this it? I don't think this is it. Is this it? Is this it? Maybe there's multiple. <sighs> we should have set out the rules before we started this. Uh, next we have a My Name is Earl. A, like TV show promo shirt. I'm riding the... I'm riding the karma train now. My name is Earl. I think we can count this as vintage, 2005. I also don't think this is a 
thousand dollar shirt, but my name is Earl. It's got a fan base. Minga, London. I don't know why I got it because it had these like little, the tag looked good and then I clicked it up, but it had these little holes here. <laughs> I don't know what that's for. Oh, you just just a little, little, little extra flash there. Yeah, I feel like that's value. Yeah. It's this brand High C. Hawaiian Island Creations, corduroy, like kind of carpentry, baggy shorts, very skater type of style. Pretty nice. Okay, I don't know what this brand is and I don't know why I bought it. I just felt like I couldn't leave them behind, but they were like, they're these just like linen shorts and it's called non type and that's like the tag, kind of has like the off-white looking like tag. Um, but yeah, it's just called non-type. I didn't, I couldn't find it anywhere, but I was like, I mean, I guess these aren't even really that cool, but I just didn't, <laughs> the design of the, the labels and stuff really was convincing no to me. No left behind. All right, this one has promise. We have a 90s, literally 1990, MC Escher crew neck sweatshirt on the TJ's tag made in USA. I feel like this could be a $1,000 item. You're not gonna give me anything here? I mean, this is like definitely worth until we finish. a lot. Like it's a vintage MC Escher and it's on a sweatshirt. Well, right now out of everything, that's gonna be my my guess so far. <laughs> okay, I accidentally didn't, I didn't really mean to buy this. This is called Alex Alex. Little cute tee. I don't know, I feel like this could do really well just by style, so it's not the worst pickup. But Alex Alex, hopefully that's okay. Next, got a vintage, uh, I believe, 80s Levi's 501. It's a nice big size, 3830. This is a good one in good condition. Not a thousand, but still gonna be a good pickup. These are some like aloe pants, brown. That's it. So you have a pretty cool Supreme t-shirt this cool graphic yeah needs a little a little love TLC got this brand white fox I have never tried this brand yet um, but I guess it's pretty good <laughs> so I'm gonna start picking it up I think I've seen it before because <laughs> there's wild fox and uh, whatever white fox I guess is pretty good <laughs> Thanks we have a US Space Force like cats in space astronaut t-shirt. It's pretty cool No, we can't pass on my cats. Yeah cats cats are good These are some Levi's vintage ones I think US right? Yeah, this one's old. 80s, huh? Probably. Oh, sh oh, I thought I was a ton. <laughs> it's an old one. Just old vintage Levi's. Let's see, I have a Bonobos slim taper jeans. Oh, just a nice standard pickup. Yes. So the Gold's Gym. Um. Yeah, cool stuff. Tank top camo. Pretty good, I think. This is a brand I don't know. Go Slow Caravan. Feels like it could be wool. This cool, like, patchwork style button up. I don't, I can't read it, but it seems like this might be a Japanese brand. We love picking up Japanese brands, they always comp well. Got a little helmet Lang sweater. That's about it. <laughs> Got a C by Chloe tank oh, top. Oh, this is cashmere. Helmet link nice. cashmere. I would have never even guessed. 
Yeah, it doesn't really feel like cashmere. It's still nice though. It's like how it's ribbed, I guess. Yeah. Anyways, C by Chloe tank top. Not more to say there. Is that egg and Voltaire? Girls can do anything, so feminist stuff. Definitely gonna be pretty good. Next, got a Levi's, vintage Levi's 505 um, on an orange tab. Doesn't have Anyways, still a good pick. Some Patagonia sweatpants. Yep. Got another vintage Levi's 501. This time a black denim. We like our black denims here. This one seems to be... Eh, I guess 80s. Another, I can't believe, helmet length. Oh, I see why they donated it now. Well, how I'm laying with this. I didn't even see this so now, so I made a mistake on this like jacket, but it's got like a bleach on the back. But it's actually like a pretty cool jacket. Don't you think? Mm-hmm. It's nice. Maybe this will still sell well, I'm not sure, but it's still a cool jacket. It's like moto. Look at that, and then it's like knitted. It's cool. I like this one. Why is there a zip? You can zip it up in two different <laughs> spots. That's really this one. <laughs> so, this is so interesting. This one you can zip up in two different spots, so you can have a tighter fit or you can have a looser fit. I never actually found a helmet length piece that was actually kind of cool. So like you can do like the asymmetrical or the other one, look. That's pretty cool. It's really cool. Um, so this one just has like this bleach fading on the back. The only reason why they gave this one up. Cool. All right, so now we have a vintage Levi's 80s. I believe this is a 550 like relax fit. It's on a black tag though, actually. Got like the black tab here. I don't see those very often. Actually, we see them so rare that I can't tell you what it means right now. Dolce & Gabbana um, top. Not much more to say. Um, next we have a, a free city hoodie that says Tokyo, Texas, Texas, Tokyo. So it could be a collab. Um, it could be worth a lot. I know Free City does some crazy collabs. They do like a really nice Laura Piana collab. So maybe this is, I don't know what Tokyo, Texas is. Texas, Tokyo. You look pretty suspicious though. Why? I don't know. I don't think this is worth a thousand dollars, but it's probably worth- Free City, baby, come on. I know. This one's a, you're just like the <laughs> Wolf. Vintage Wolf. We have a vintage band tee, the Wilkinsons, and it seems to be signed. So, feels like a promising contender. I don't know what the band the Wilkinsons is, though. Maybe he's not going to say anything. Rest in suspense. Next, got a Big Bud Press jumpsuit in this nice green color. These are really good. Sell for like, what, 120? Mm -hmm. All right, next we have just a nice standard um, Zelda Ocarina of Time t-shirt. Pretty good. I don't think it's vintage. If it is, it's gonna be like, what? What? Why are you like, like smiling? I don't know. Okay, did I, did I say it weird? No. Shirt. I don't think this one's a thousand dollars. Doesn't even have a tag. Okay, go. Cool. 
Next, got this vintage Fantasia 2000 shirt. And so we have a Alexander Wing, um, like crew sweatshirt that just has the embroidery girls on it. So probably good. And Alexander's I mean sweatshirts tend to go for like 90-ish. Merchandise from Duke University, size XL. Really nice reverse weave feeling. We have a vintage cat t-shirt. Single stitch. Single stitch. Onita power tee. This is another vintage one, support our troops. Desert Shield. So this is 91. I saw Brent going for this and pulled back for a second. I thought we had it, but I don't think this is it. This is a 11 Z's. Uh, really cool, like kind of floral patterny jacket. I think this is more of like a jacket coat than a blazer, but this is. This is a nice one. I don't think this is a thousand. I don't think 11 Z's. I thought 11 Z's, yeah, is an anthropology brand. But still a very nice jacket. Good pickup for the, well, the season. This one is Polo Ralph Lauren. <laughs> like big cardigan sweater. It's a named collective, like, Kind of cargo sweatpants, nice wide leg. I don't know this brand, but it has a nice tag, which makes me think it's really nice. These are some mossy oak um, brush pants. I don't think I've seen much mossy oak pants. Yeah, this is definitely my first time. Um, and they're even double knee, which is cool. Um, I know actually some mossy oak vintage shirts can sell for a lot. There's some interesting wear on this too, which I think it's like a nice, war nice worn in yeah. pair of pants. So you have a pair of Arquette wool blend trousers. Yeah. This looks Hopefully pretty nice. I didn't check this one that well. So everything's intact. Yeah, looks okay. Yeah, I know Arquette, we've had, I think it does like well, at least for women's pants. That's what we've picked up before. I think this one's men's, but it's wool pants. We've got this Ferrari made in Italy shirt. Yeah, just think that's a solid car shirt. What does this say? Dogtown. Oh, 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 we got a Dogtown skateboard, long sleeve. Yeah, I like picking up skateboardy stuff. This is Johnny Becca. Has this kind of like, I don't know what you even call this. It's like, it's knit. Knit shorts, yeah. yeah. I don't know, these hopefully will do well. <laughs> Seem like a Poshmark item. Yeah. So I have a Diane von Furstenberg. Um, it's like a silk, mostly silk blend top. This is a Jordan on the Jordan, um, but this is this North Carolina jersey. I don't think this will do that well, but it should be like 30 bucks. And lastly, we have just like a standard Levi's 501. Not vintage, but good size. The shoes. Was the $1,000 item in the clothes or is it in the shoes? I don't know. All right. Okay. We have an Anne Dumo Meester. Dumo Meester. Dumo Meester? Like velvet boots made in Italy. Seem pretty nice. I don't know anything about this brand though, so I can't make a guess. Next, some Gucci driver horse bit loafers. Been getting a lot of Gucci lately. I know yeah. you haven't been seeing the hauls, but I feel like I've gotten five Gucci shoes in the 
last three days. Maybe the other one can't read. Look to the side. Oh, <laughs> got a pair of fry, like suede fry, pull on boots, nice and tall. Nice um, John Bravado's zip boots. Which, uh, these are really good. This is a bigger size. Looks we have a beak, I believe. Beak little, I don't know how to describe this. It's not quite a boot. Just like a leather slip-on shoe. So I think it's handmade. kind of cute. Yeah, it's, it's really cute. This is a nice look to it. This has the potential to be kind of crazy. So it's like a very vintage Chicago Cubs hat. This is really hard though. I mean, it's super vintage. It's got the paper bill. It's like a wild construction. Can you tell us more, Bibba? I don't know anything about this hat. <laughs> that it looks older than any other hat I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Just like how this looks, looks so old school, even how this looks. Everything just looks old. These bigger tags, so I don't know. It could be super old. Because everything about it just screams super old. Okay. So. What? Get that Legend of Zelda shirt. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you serious? <laughs> Really, you're serious. It doesn't even have a tag. It's not even single stitch. It's just people love Ocarina of Time so much. What are you talking about, baby? Oh, it's 90s. Oh. You see, oh, it I has see. no side seams. I see now, I see now, I see now. that fat collar. I'll bring you closer, baby. The collar? No, not the collar. Just all of it. Really good condition, too. And I think this is going to be an XL. Yeah, this is a big size. I think it's an XL. Yeah, it's so like great condition. This one's it's going up there, one thousand. All I know about Zelda is from that like creepy. This is stuff. the this is the Zelda shirt. It's the Zelda. This shirt. is the the number one Zelda shirt, but there's a there's um. A Ganondorf one, and that one's cool too. I like it better, but anyways, um, that's it for today. <laughs> um, I hope that was kind of more fun or enjoyable. I don't know, a little mystery. Um, but yeah, got a good shirt. Pretty decent haul. I spent a good amount of money today. And uh, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.